I want to talk about how we write equations of lines that are parallel and perpendicular to a given line through a point. So let's start with parallel lines. It says find the equation of a line parallel to y equals one half x that passes through two comma four. Okay, so let's start by finding the point two four. That looks like it's right here. So there's the point two comma four. Now let's just see what this looks like visually before we do any more work on writing the equation. So I'm gonna use my ruler tool and you could use a ruler too to do this. I'm gonna use my ruler to draw the equation or to draw the line parallel to y equals one half x that passes through that point, which is two comma four. Okay, now I want to see what I can figure out about these two lines. So let me look at y equals one half x. I know that the slope is one half, right? Because it's in the form y equals mx. So if I look at the slope, it should mean that the rise is one and the run is two. So rise is one and run is two. Up one over two, right? So if you look at this line here, you'll notice that it's the same slant as this line, right? It has the same pitch or the same slant as this line. It just is in a different location. So if we look at the slope of this line, I think we'll see that the rise is one and the run is two. Rise is one, run is two. So the slope of this line is also one half. This is important. Parallel lines have the same slope. So this should make sense because slope measures how slanted a line is or how steep it is. And these two lines are going along at the same slant or the same steepness all along. So they have the same slope and that makes sense. Now, if we wanna write the equation of the line, we need to go back to our y equals mx plus b form. And we know that m is 1 half. So we can write y equals 1 half x plus b. Now we can use these points for x and y to find b. So put in two for x and put in four for y, because this is x and this is y. And then we can solve for b. So one half of two is one. So one plus b equals four. Subtract one from both sides. So b equals three. So our final answer would be y equals one half x plus three. And that is how we find the equation of a line parallel to a given line that passes through a point. Please note that when you're doing it on your own, you don't necessarily need to graph it. I just did that to help us visualize what we were doing. So you don't necessarily need to graph it, you just need to realize that the slope is going to be the same, and then you use the other point to find the y-intercept. So now let's go on to perpendicular lines. So if we take our same y equals 1 half x, but now we want to find the equation of a line perpendicular to y equals 1 half x that passes through um, let's see, 2 comma 1. Okay, so one thing to note here is that perpendicular lines are lines that cross at a 90 degree angle. 
So again, I want to start by visualizing this. So 2 comma 1 is this point right here. And I can actually use my, my ruler tool measures degrees. So I'm going to use it to tell me where 90 degrees is. So it should be right here. And that looks like 90 degrees too, so that's good. Um, so my ruler tool is going to draw this line at a 90 degree angle. So we, we know that parallel lines have the same slope. Well, it's pretty clear that perpendicular lines do not have the same slope, but let's see what we can figure out about their slopes. So we know that the slope of this line is 1 half, right? Um, so let's try to figure out what's the slope of the yellow line. So we have to look at rise and run. So as we go over 1, we go up 2. Over 1 to the left and up 2. So my rise is 2 and my run is negative 1. So that would mean that slope is rise over run, which is 2 over negative 1, or negative 2 over 1, or we can just call that negative 2. Now, how is that related to this? Well, it turns out that 1 half that fraction gets flipped over and that's called the reciprocal. So the reciprocal of a fraction just switches the numerator and the denominator. At, but then this one was positive and this one's negative. So to find the slopes of parallel lines or of perpendicular lines, so slopes of perpendicular lines are opposites. Whoa, that's really messy. Let's try that again. <laughs> so they're opposite reciprocals. Opposite reciprocals. Okay, an opposite really means that we have a different sign. Some people call this a negative reciprocal. Um, that's not really quite the right term because negative means it's always negative, but it means that it needs to be the negative of the other one or the opposite sign. So you need to change the sign and you also need to flip the fraction. So reciprocal means that we're going to flip the fraction. Okay, so once we do that, once we know that, um, we can find the B. So now we know the slope, right? So we have to find the B. So I'm going to actually go ahead and erase this part so I have some room to write. But I'll leave the other part down below. So our new line is going to be Y equals negative 2, right? That was our, so, so the opposite reciprocal here was that slope was going to be negative 2 over 1, which is also just negative 2. So y equals negative 2x plus b. And then you can use this point x, y, plug those in for x and y over here. So 1 equals negative 2 times 2 plus b. So this is 1 equals negative 4 plus b. Add 4 to both sides. So b equals 5. So our final answer would be y equals negative 2x plus 5. Now let's go back and compare that to our graph. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is the y-intercept, right? And the slope is over 1, down, down 2, over 1. So that slope is negative 2x and the y-intercept is 5, exactly as it's shown on our graph. 
So again, remember that you don't actually need to graph these things as long as you follow the process of taking the opposite reciprocal slope and then use the point that you're going through. Put those points in for x and y and then you'll be able to solve for b. Once you solve for b, go back to your original y equals mx plus b and put in the b and then you have your final answer. You don't actually need to graph it in order to complete the problem. And that's how we do it.